First of all, we came to your school for interview, am I right? Yes, sir. What was your aspiration? What would you like to be in the future? Medical doctor. Oh, that is a fantastic one. A medical doctor. Yes, sir. Now, I want you to take a look at the screen. Are you seeing the screen? Yes, sir. How do you see the state of the medical facilities in Nigeria currently? Very bad. Very, very bad. Thank you. If probably tomorrow you are opportune to be the Minister of Health, what do you think you can do to improve the situation? There are many clinic, hospitals, and health centers that we closed. I will make sure I open them and raise staff that will be good in that aspect. Thank you very much. The government policies are bad. The minister today complained of poor funding and many more. If in the future you are given the opportunity, what do you think you can do to improve the situation or the duplicated situation people are facing today when it comes to health care? I will open free health centers for people. Okay. I appreciate that. I'm shifting, sorry, to another topic still on current affairs. I want to look around. If you see, if you go to your place, probably, if possible, your locality, you will see that the roads are bad. I want to take a look at the screen. Can you see the road on the screen? Yes, sir. These are the type of roads we have currently in Nigeria, everywhere in Nigeria. I want to shift your attention again to the Biafran struggle. Take a look at the stream. People today are fighting for the Biafran struggle. Do you think that the Biafran struggle is worth dying for? Yes, sir. Okay. I want to to take a look at the screen again. Can you see the people lying down there? Yes, sir. Those are Biafran agitators. Am I right? Yes, sir. Do you think, for the second time, the struggle is worth dying for? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm shifting to another question again. Today, we are nowhere when it comes to technology. Am I right? Yes, sir. The U.S. government, before, be, before they will approve the sales of arms for us to fight our wars, fight Boko Haram, it takes them 15 years to 
approved cells of arm to our soldiers to fight plans. Do you think that in the future, probably when you are the Minister of Defense, do you think that time will come when Nigeria can produce an F-15 fighter jet? Look at the screen. Can you see that? Yes, sir. With this one jet, I want to tell you that if this one jet operates in the northeast for six months, Boko Haram will be things of the past. But unfortunately, the U.S. government can never sell these arms to Nigerian government to fight Boko Haram. Do you see a future where, if you are given maybe the Minister of Technology, you can one day produce an F-16 fighter jet to fight Boko Haram. Are you seeing that future in Nigeria today? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Okay, now, if paraventure we don't have the technology then, the U.S. government take long time to sell these arms to us to fight. Before they were put themselves, we have died, Boko Haram have killed us in thousands. Sometimes 20 years have elapsed before they will sell the fighter jets to Nigeria. What do you think you can do to make sure the U.S. government can just sell these arms to us within a month? We order for these weapons or for these warplanes and it will arrive. What did you think you can do? I'll make sure the USA leads this jet for us. Okay. You make sure they release jets for us. Yes. But their government and their policies will not allow that. What did you think you can do to save the dying Nigerians in the northeast? Or by eventual, maybe before then, it will be in the east. There are other weapons we can use to save our country. I'll make provision for them. Thank you very much. Your answers are well appreciated. We would like to have you more in the house. We would like to have your ideas. Nigerians want to listen to you more. You work on all these subjects because these subjects that you just gave answers to, you are going to defend the subject right inside the house. When you go back home, you will make sure you will conduct this subject, these questions, and this answer you have given Big Mom today because questions will come after questions because Nigerians want to get answers to this question because you are the future.